Hi there people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing three episodes tonight. Actually, it's early morning. It's around, um, you know, uh, going towards 6 a.m. And it's weekend. Happy weekend to all Bangladeshis, uh, those who are sleeping nicely. So uh, we have a very tough life here, sort of. People who especially work, uh, working class people work really, really hard the whole week. And then, you know, they actually enjoy the weekend uh, with the sleep and all that, right? So hopefully you guys are having a nice nap. I'm up early because, you know, I don't uh, work at workplace. But anyway, I work from home. So today, uh, first episode I plan to do is uh, this one. You can see a, like a gorgeous little baller right in front of me. Um, this is Teared Hermes EDT. And I have got a 200 ml recently. And this, I think, perhaps is the new batch. It's a test unit I bought from one community member here. Uh, it was almost full and you know very generous of him thank you so much brother for letting it go so um, the thing is you know i thought like you know it's been a while since we talked about this one of the best designer fragrances if i make top 10 this always high likely is going to be there because so far the ones that i've gone through like i would say some masterpiece that i've gone through from chanel uh, dior let's say prada prada amber is one of them uh, from hermes this is the crown jewel for me uh, if you talk about versace versace purum there are some great top uh designer fragrance this is one of them so i would like to like revisit and i would like to talk about the newer batch formulation if any difference between the old batch new batch because i've gone through them like since 2015 16. so this fragrance we will talk about it who is it for perhaps if it's still worth looking at or it's too old now we'll see all that so i don't have a box i threw away the box it's a test unit so it's a massive 200 ml these are actually very chunky and very heavy bottles i really love the juice color in there I think this is more like a like orange juice and the bottle has major h like hammer <laughs> at the base and these are classic bottles and they always come with this kind of a beautiful cap oh man i'm using one hand so yeah so it just locks and unlocks like that and really really nice uh, bottle presentation and you can see also it has all the detailing of hermes so hermes also has good sprayers but if you talk about pricing hermes actually never was cheap i never found this fragrance cheap first time i encountered this it was back in somewhere 2015 okay i saw the hype behind this i was like wanted to try it but none of the shops in malaysia had a tester you know they had one in mid valley mega mall if, if those who are living in malaysia they would know uh, they had one a bottle left and they asked for almost hundred dollars hundred twenty dollars for a uh like a 100 ml um, pack you know so i didn't want to uh say blind by this because some people told me it's a daring fragrance so i've said in my previous reviews this was a long process for me to understand like this fragrance because it's more complex and this fragrance gets compared to many other fragrances uh perhaps we'll talk about them as well okay but in general teradermis the first time i tried it i did not understand or like this fragrance okay uh please uh, be patient and like hear me out because some of you may be already judging like hey you don't understand the greatness of this i do <laughs> so dear hermes i have not been using for like current time only this is my i think second or third bottle of a bit older batches um, but not uh, vintage and this was like almost finished so that's why i decided to get a backup then i got i think i finished my other bottle terrier ms out refresh which i also have a small m 30 ml i just kept for myself which has collected dust i don't know how anyway let's keep talking uh, there are a few uh, like flankers in this line i don't own them all but i reviewed them all thankfully so the out refresh was my favorite for summer and then very last one uh, i got from this line was this one terrier ms all intense vetiver which was a different completely different fragrance and done by different perfume so apart from this there was oh givre or givre which i reviewed from one of my brother's bottles which is a fantastic release i think that's a beautiful fragrance which replaced out refresh but i think both are collection worthy okay so these are things we're not going to discuss much but hermes this this family did pretty well i did a line talk please check that out and there was a perfume version which i actually sold off i had about 10 ml left i let it go so that's the line apart from that they release over the years many many uh, same fragrances like this one this one um, in limited time bottles metal full metal bottles those are the exact same fragrance as the originals like auto refresh or tdh the original so why didn't i like it at first this fragrance i had thought it's gonna be orangey you know like first thing that came to mind it's gonna be orange and orange means it's pretty likable and also what do you say like orange is a very nice note like clinic sappy for men or uh, mugler's 
um, think ultra zest those are fragrances easy love people love the note of orange but this orange is no not ordinary orange okay first time i tried it first impression that i got from it it was extremely bitter it was extremely spicy and also powdery these three combination really put me off and i felt this fragrance is not for beginners okay this fragrance the original edt um, and i felt this fragrance is not going to be my cup of tea but when i smelled it i still got it out of respect okay because i wanted to see what it's all about so major notes in the there were like major notes were grapefruit orange pepper ice is super and vetiver i think these are the major notes and there are some other notes so the magical thing about this fragrance slowly i start uh, understanding after review like going through some clones like i think there was one from armaf clubhouse derby clubhouse or derby clubhouse was the name i forgot the name there was one i reviewed that was a big uh, success of a clone then slowly people start telling me that this is similar to cartier declaration i definitely saw the resemblance but they're two different fragrances but still very mature and also some people compared this with daniel's icon and there was one more from house of rasas i don't know where i kept my bottle the green bottle okay i forgot the name so that's a good clone of this fragrance but going through the clones made me realize that this fragrance may be something interesting and i got those clones first then i got for the original and the process was long you know i'm telling you that powdery orangey opening is very earthy it's like almost uh it's off-putting you know like for beginners is very off-putting because this has a peppery kick you know i am wearing this on my arm yeah when i smell this it, it gives that vibe that this fragrance is opening is kind of peppery spicy and that orange is not just a playful orange it's a very challenging orange and then later whatever follows it's also vetiver is a very uh, how to say mature note which i also liked very later part of my journey so tedermis how do you fall in love with this first thing magical property of this fragrance is the ice wave super property many people complained including me that at first i did not smell this perfume like when i wore this back in the days i'm like hey this is gone in like 10 minutes i'm like what's happening this one dior sauvage and few other fragrances i think uh versace menu fresh which the brother who sold it to me say also said the same thing uh brother asano thank you so much bhai. so uh he said this i cannot smell and the new batch that i bought it's not like the old batches he said this new batches are not as potent as the older batches and i wanted to get it still because i felt this is what happening you know like nose fatigue so back in the days i wore this and i went out i'm like this is gone in 10 minutes i thought it's a very bad performer but when i hang my shirt it you know like it next day i smell it it's pretty strong on the shirt then i realize it's it comes and goes you know like i say super or molecule o1 or this kind of houses like eccentric molecules you feel they're gone but they're there they're very uh this magical property that you know appears disappears so you enjoy that phase and actually it's that first property that made me fall in love with this second thing got me interested in this one is that the um what you call the dry down of vetiver this vetiver is very different vetiver and this is very modern like like i don't know how to say it it's very relevant each year that passes by i never found this fragrance to be dated you know many fragrances that got released people got bored of them chanel allium sport people do not wear that as, as much like as before why because they know it's very obvious you know it's like a fresh nearly thick powdery oceanic fragrance and it doesn't really have much of transition same smell but tedermis i felt for some reason this one is just like fahrenheit you know like dior's fahrenheit it never lost its place i mean that's just very i mean weird to me because most fragrances do that you know like the people forget about them this fragrance people i don't think they could forget about it i don't know if you let me know in the comment section what do you feel this is a discussion i'm open for any opinion but i really felt this fragrance was never dated so there you go this is a very strange fragrance the third thing is you know that magical property i was talking about the longevity is pretty strong and even i wore this like very uh like condition is like very challenging like it's humid it's hot i'm sweating i'm walking and i put it through like tough challenge even after several hours i could detect it perhaps perhaps maybe uh, like the older one lasted like one to two hours more but no major change so i think ted hermes this fragrance the hermes never reformulated this neither did they do anything change in formulation it remained the same juice so i will tell you one thing if you ever want to get this the new formulations are safe but if you're very picky like hey half an hour matters you know i got one hour more you know fragrances will change over the years you know you cannot control it i mean you are not the one who's making this fragrance any fragrance that's released 
definitely will go through reformulation regulation if someone says hey this uh, ingredient is not allowed they have to like drop that from their original formulation and what they replace it by may not be the same thing but fortunately for us the smell did not change so here's the pros and cons i'll talk about the cons first and then we finish it and with the uh, ultimate verdict cons are this is not a beginner's fragrance i'm warning you if you never tried it do not blind by this okay do not think like hey it's gonna be my favorite highly likely you will feel very challenged by it even if you like it later or not but it will hit you hard second thing is this is not a young man's fragrance i think this is more ma mature fragrance if you want to try something like it i would say go with daniel saikon first it's not the same juice but it's similar family which more which is more wearable okay more wearable more rounded up and more nearly and safer this no this and cartier declaration are two mature fragrances for people who are 30 and up if i put an age or more you know older they will appreciate it third con is this fragrance it's not like a compliment garner i never got compliments with terdermis i got compliments from perhaps outer fresh because it's more fresh it's like more um light uh, juicy and then there's this nice little watery effect so people sometimes said you smell nice but because it's more wearable oh intense vetiver theater hermes the edp parfum whatever and then the givri i never owned so i cannot tell but this is not a compliment garner okay for me at least i never got third or fourth the last con that i can think of this is expensive for what it is it's never like 30 dollars it never goes for 50 percent off you'll go and see check out the shops they never have dior chanel this one particularly on super discounters okay uh, these houses they hold their fragrance value so you must make sure you try this fragrance before buying so what are the pros i would still say this is one of the most uh, modern fragrances even after so many years of release this is still uh, like contemporary and then relevant at the same time and this fragrance lasts pretty long time a third thing is this fragrance is pure quality this smells like some niche fragrances have good competition i have seen comparison with some niche perfumes and this one is comparable trust me if you have to go put some of your best soldiers from designer side to battle niche this definitely is a strong soldier so ultimately it's a groundbreaking fragrance if this one gets discontinued people will pay extra dollars for it top dollars for it make sure you know that okay and Hermes, their house, they do fragrances very differently. They don't follow any trend. I tried many of the fragrances I reviewed, Hermes, Cartier, uh, Boucheron, these houses, or even Guerlain. <clears throat> they make their own fragrances and they make their own trend. So this is a trend. This is a culture. This is a uh, statement maker in this house. And I'm pretty sure you, people need to try this. If you don't understand it today, keep it with you. Let it macerate. Let it make it stronger over the years. One fine day, you'll wake up and say, yes, I have grown up to be a man. This is what Ted Hermes does to you. So yes, all those things, it doesn't matter. Please go and sniff out this fragrance and you will see if it's for you or not. Try the uh, dry down of this. Try it over and over again, okay? You need to give it time, right? Then only understand. This is a complete uh, masterpiece of a fragrance, Ted Hermes, EDT. Thank you so much for watching. Let's do some more reviews. Bye-bye.